Hey guys, it's Jaylon and Valerie. We're back. Woo! <laughs> We're trying something new for well, from in terms of being able to record. So obviously Valerie is not here. And but oops, I just did the camera. I just shook my box that the, <laughs> that the computer is sitting on. We're off to a great start. We're off to a great start. <laughs> but anyway, so she's not here, and we wanted to try to do this update together. So we're trying this out on Zoom. We'll see how it goes. We may do a different platform next time, but we're going to try it this way for this month. At least so you guys can see Valerie live on camera with me. So exciting. Yeah. We're back. We're, we're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> so this is the first update for Nightmare on Panning Street. And this is a project that was created by Valerie and myself. And it is part of the Fantastic Ladies Collab Facebook group projects. And so this month we are going to share with you the things that we are able to roll out. I don't have any spoiler and new items that we're bringing in. So, and of course how we're doing on the items that we're working on. So to kick us off, I'm gonna let Valerie share the items that she can roll out because I don't have any. I have three. She has three. I'm close on some, but I don't have anything to roll out yet. So, so Valerie, sh are... yeah, share with us what you're able to roll out. Okay, so two of them are usage goals. Mm -hmm. And the first one was for Frankenstein, my Franken product. And that was my um, Cover FX Duo blush. And I used each pan 13 times. God, I can't believe you already so, finished that. Yeah, 13 times. And um, it's beautiful. It'll, you know, go back into my drawer mm. and not be used for a while. But it's beautiful. It's these such a, it was really such a pretty shade. Pigmented. Yeah, these are really pigmented. They don't, <clears throat> it doesn't take much. So that was for Frankenstein. And then I also uh, used... My brow product. <laughs> this was for the conjuring. Don't know what possessed you to purchase it. Mm -hmm. And I used the wax. Oh, there's a lot of clear here. I used the wax 13 times and I used this guy 13 times. I actually kind of liked it. You did? I, well, I know you mentioned that you, you were kind of surprised that you did. And yeah. now you're like, am I a, a brow wax person? <laughs> I, I don't think I have enough brow though because I I pluck my brow so I don't have any brow hair over here so this mm -hmm. wax doesn't work that I don't think it'll ever replace pencils for me uh, but it was not as difficult as I thought it would be to work with I thought it was all right would it be something that you would use in addition to a pencil maybe yeah because mm -hmm. it fills in the powder really fills in nicely where I have sparse sparse brow so it, right, it was good right. I, I didn't mind it so much Okay. But I'm but I'm putting it away for a okay. little bit. <laughs> Wait. So what was the what did you say what the prompts were that you? That, yeah, that one was for the Conjuring. That That's right. For, okay. Know what to, do to buy it. Okay. And the thing I finished was for the Strangers. It was my little ritual oh, shower yeah. oil, which I yeah, didn't yeah. get through. And that was for No Longer Welcome in Your Collection. If you remember, I just yeah. wanted to get it. So I had three. <gasps> I had three out. This That's month, so awesome. Yeah, I'm so jealous. Really I didn't have anything that I was able to roll out this month. So, but Boo. that means next month will be a big one for you. I hope so. I need to focus a bit on the products that I have because some of these are, I don't have like a ton of uses on everything. I, I am wearing a lot of the things that are in this project today on my face. So that's pretty exciting. Okay. So should we start with the items that we're working on? Yeah, let's do that, and then at the or end, I'll, I'll continue, see what I'm rolling in. Continue with the items that we're working on? Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Struggle bus. You go first. Okay, as I scratch my nose. Okay, so the first item that I have is for the prompt, The Shining, and it's twins, an item from which you have a backup. So I had brought in the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Saki. And I'm actually wearing it today. So this is a beautiful color. I love it. I love this shade. That's a Jalon color. Yeah. Let's totally. put LLR on. Because it took us so long to fiddle with this that I, I think some of it rubbed off. 
So my goal was to use that 10 times. So far I've used it three and I might count that last one as a fourth use. So I still have six uses to go on that one. That's easy though. That's yeah, easy. hopefully. But you know what? Here's the deal is that I'm trying to finish Taurus. And this and Taurus kind of are similar in how I would use them. But I think what I'll do is whenever I have a purple look, I've been doing a, I'm going to use all the purple lipsticks that I have in projects at least once that day. And so this I'll have to remember to get rolled into that so I get those uses because, you know, at least I can get one use every time I wear purple if I look. So we'll try that. Purple. Purple. All right, you're next. Okay, so my the one I'm working on is for Rosemary's Baby, a new item in your collection. And this is my mm -hmm. Nabla skin glazing. <gasps> I have only used it once because I've been working on another highlighter or another mm -hmm. project, but... Um, so I have 12, 12 uses left, but oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I have that in a project too. And I think I've worn it three times and every time I'm like, Oh my gosh, it's so oh, pretty. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's, beautiful. I mean, I it it's so I pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I did so the same thing. I have 12 more on this, but, um, not a problem because it's gorgeous. Yeah. Agree. Agree. It's so pretty. And I love the packaging. I feel so fancy. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. I mean, it's it's great. Now, the other one that I had was not a good shade match, and I can't remember the name of that. Um, the the shade that I had, the second the other one I have, I can't yeah. remember the shade, but it was not a good match for my skin tone. But that one, no. This one's beautiful, and mm -hmm. I didn't I don't think I said the color. This is ozone. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So pretty. Yeah. Okay, my next prompt is Christine, and this is an item you made a special trip to the store to purchase. So I brought in the Inglot eyeshadow in shade number 344. And this one, you know, as whenever I was editing our, our intro, I realized that I did not share what my goal was going to be for this. So, and I don't even know that I had set a goal whenever I originally brought it in. So I decided to do 30 uses on this. And so, you know, that's a lot because I probably shouldn't have done that many <laughs> because 30 uses can take a while. However, I've used it 11. I pretty much use this every time I do a purple look. And even sometimes when I don't do a purple look, I'll bring this in. It's so pretty. It's just a really nice mauve shade. Kind of hard probably to use see, it in your but... in your in your crease right yeah it's like the first crease shade yeah nice. i do love it it's so pretty and it's a gr it's great formula great formula so yeah 11 uses on that and i have 19 to go okay all right what you got now comes for psycho something that makes you crazy <laughs> oh my gosh but look at how good you're doing on that Every day. I mean, I use it every day and it's, the pan has definitely expanded. Oh I'm my gosh, so much. At the point where I need to repress, uh, it. repress it. Almost. Yeah. But I'm still able to pick up some product. I don't think next time, but maybe in January I'll have this out. I cannot believe how much progress you made on that. I'm just every day. Yeah. But it, it's going. Put as much bronzer as you can. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Put bronzer on both cheeks, on all four cheeks. <laughs> I just had this like visual of you like trying to get bronzer on your booty. Bronzer, blush, highlighter on all four cheeks. Oh. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's too funny. So my next prompt is A Nightmare on Elm Street, dupe for an item you dream about purchasing. So this is a dupe for the Rose Ink Cream Divine Creamy Dewy Cream Blush. Oh my God, it's like the longest name ever. In Heliotrope. And that the dupe for that is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Between the Sheets. So it's this cream blush here. And this is what this looks like. And I, my goal was to use this 10 times. I've used it four so far. You know, I just swatched it and hit pan. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta love ColourPop. Bonus pan. Woohoo! Uh, 
I do have this on today underneath another blush as my cream blush, but this is so pretty. And bonus pan, super sweet. That's exactly how I would use it underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's a, and you know, the funny thing is, is that you really do have to build this up. It does not go on super, which I like in a cream blush. It doesn't go on super like in your face. And the reason why I've only had four uses on it is because I've been working on my Rare Beauty Melting Blush in Newly Mauve. And I'm my that's in a Partners in Cream project. But I'll probably put that aside for the rest of like this year and just get my ten the rest of the six uses I need to on this. And that way I can roll it out because I'm not going to hit pan by the end of the year on that Rare Beauty Blush. So anyway, that's well, going to be the goal. Well, more uses, you might like clean out half the pan. I so mean, I know. Jeez. You hit that tonight. <laughs> that's pretty it's awesome, little... though. I mean, I had you. I had used this a ton before I brought it into the project. Like it was very, very well loved before I brought it yeah. in. So yeah, that's. I didn't, was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your next prompt? Okay, my next one is Alien, which is one of a kind in your collection, uh -huh. and I put this trusty flippy in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um this guy is slow going i have used it a lot i don't know how many times because i'm bad at that oh yeah i suck at that too now is your goal to finish it okay. my goal is yeah. to finish it but check it out oh he broke are so you are I'm, you uh are you starting to to have like the the jaylon syndrome where you break your lippies <laughs> the lipstick breaking yes Oh my gosh. So, um, that's all that's left. Yeah. But I'm trying to be really careful with it. And, mm -hmm. um, you can see, I mean, I've used some of it, but gosh, it's slow going. Yeah. Well, you're doing pretty good on it. I can't remember how much, how much was in there before, but. Yeah, not much. I, I mean, I, I measured it somewhere. I don't know where it is, mm -hmm. but it, it went down just very little. So. Okay. Okay. I, here I thought, oh, this will be out in a month. I'll have this. Nope. No, I was kind of thinking about that. I was like, I don't think, like, unless I was really focusing on all of these items, which I have not been, which is the problem. Like, I was like, what was I thinking? Like, I'm not going to be able to get anything out. But that's okay. I'm still going to roll something else in, guys. Like, really. I can't do an update on my own project and not roll in a new prompt. Yay! Oh, okay, so my next prompt is A Quiet Place. And that's a product that makes you speechless. And I am wearing this today as well. This is the Cleona eyeshadow in crown glass. So I don't know if it's going to, yeah, there we go. There's the shift. That's so beautiful. I mean, geez, I wasn't sure that the, my Mac camera would be able to pick it up, but it does. So yeah, there's the eyeshadow. It's stunning. And I'm wearing it like on the very outer corner of my eyes today. My goal. I just placed my first Cleona order. Did you? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'm trying to. I don't know that I, I think I have to go back and look to see because I think you posted what you ordered, but I don't remember. I have to go back and look at them. Actually, send me send me a screenshot of what you bought. Okay. Uh, okay. So my goal was to use that ten times. I've used it seven. So I'm hoping I'll have that rolled out by the next update as well. Easy. Yeah. So you're gonna have a big you're gonna have a big month next i'm month. hoping i'm hoping yeah, we'll see will. what happens okay I what you got confidence. uh okay so for scream a product that makes you scream with delight was mm -hmm. this kosas duo oh yeah mm -hmm. and i'm trying to hit pan in both the blush and the highlighter um oh I'm you're really close though on the highlighter. not so much on the blush but on the highlighter i can feel when i dip into it now i can feel a difference in the bottom oh okay so I I'm close on that. But are I'm those using them every... are those pans like? Do they have ridges in them, or is it just a flat pan? Do you know? Have you hit pan in the other one that you have? Oh wait, this is the only cream one you have, right? The only one, the only cream one I have. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know. We'll find out. Mm, okay. Hopefully, before next month, we'll yeah, find out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Hopefully, I, I love this product. So... I just love it. It's I... so pretty. I would consider buying another one, frankly. I don't. Do they have other shades in that? I don't know. I don't think so. Not. In I've the only ever seen that one. If I see it again, I might buy it. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> but, you know, 
I buy it. <laughs> okay, so my next prompt was carry, an item that is a sin not to have in your collection. And this is the product that you were like, finish that. It's the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. It's this item here. Freaking love this product. My goal was not to finish it, was to use it 20 times. And <laughs> shush. <laughs> Just shush. <gasps> this is what this looks like. I've used it 16 <laughs> times so far. I have four uses to go. So I'll definitely have this done by the next update. But I was trying to see, like, and I don't know, I guess we'll see what, how yours looks whenever you share how you're doing on yours. But I don't know if on here, if it like starts to look clear as you're working your way up or if this is a colored, this is clear if this is a colored um, container or whatever. I think it's clear, but I don't know yet. Okay. So you haven't gotten to that point. I haven't gotten Spoiler. to that point. Spoiler. No. What's your next prompt? Okay, next I have a quiet place. This is something that makes you feel speechless. And this is my toner. Oh, and yeah. And did, did now, you want to I, finish that? I'm going to finish it, yeah. Okay, you've got a while to go. Uh, yeah, but you know what? I just I just started it about a week ago because I was oh. working on a toner. Got it. So you probably, I don't know if you can see, but I'm just underneath the rim yeah. here. So yep. I do have a ways to go, but I love this. That's, I love it, so not a problem well eventually it'll get done it'll get done yeah <clears throat> okay my next prompt is the invisible man something that erases like a primer concealer foundation or powder so i brought in my giorgio armani luminous silk foundation it's this one whoops as i shade that. It's this one here i uh, so i have made some use on this and as you can see i think the in the intro i had it hadn't settled and so I did have to let it sit for a little while and it finally did settle. But yeah, so I am making progress on this. I freaking love this foundation. This is in the shade 3.75. I did pull out my darker one in 4.75 to mix so that I have options because my skin tone is a little bit too dark for that by itself. But I am wearing it today. I'm going to use mine next year for sure. I'm going to get into it next year. Yeah. With that because I really love it and I do too. And as I said in the intro it just sits there you know so I really want to yeah. get, get things out of it you need That's to uh, use the beautiful things in your collection absolutely okay what's next for you oh now is my Tarte Maracuja oil this is for the exorcist uh -huh. this is the it makes your head spin with delight you have what color is yours oh your I didn't orchid. say I don't think orchid yeah this is coconut which is darker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think we determined that. Oh, that's true, yeah. yeah. So that's, yeah, this is <clears throat> coconut. And, uh, you know, you can't, I have no idea mm -hmm. where I am. Yeah. Thing. I tried to put a flashlight through here and all, you know, whatever. <laughs> None of that worked. So <laughs> I don't know. I use it every day, several times a day. Oh, my gosh. See, I don't so. use mine every day only because I'm, well, I don't say that I don't use it every day. I mean, I haven't, obviously, because I've only used it 11, 16 times. But I have so many other lip products I'm working on that I use that, like, at night or in the morning, like, if I just need some hydration. Or I used it recently over a liquid lipstick. Like, I used it over I'm trying to finish, which I don't think it's going to happen, but... I'm trying to finish this Huda Beauty liquid lipstick, and I used it over this the other day, and it yeah. was it was really nice, which is in here. I, I put it over a lip, liquid lipstick usually because yeah. it, it helps hide it, you know? Yeah, it's nice. The thing over is, liquid this lipstick. is so emollient, you don't really need a lot. Yeah, I agree. I, mean, I agree. You don't if lot, you put so too much, like, if you put, you have to be careful to not put too much on, actually. And the other thing that I will say about this is if you click up too much, like it'll splay out, like you have to be careful not to put too much on your lips or to click too much up. Yeah. I do love it though. I don't care. No, it's a lovely product, yeah. but it, you have to be really careful with it. So mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be here for a while, but I'm happy to be using it. Yeah. Because I have about five others or something. Or I have five or a lot more. more. Or more. Yeah. Oh, we have so many of those. Okay. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> moving on. 
My next prompt is Halloween, a set of sheet masks or a full deluxe size mask. So I brought in my Pure Lease sheet masks in Blue Lotus and Seaweed. So I have three left and well, maybe if I did them right side up, three left. <laughs> and I did use up three. Halfway there. Yeah. So I'm halfway there. In a Very month. exciting. Yeah, in a month. I predict you're going to have at least six six rollouts next month. I'm hopeful. That would be great. It's good. I'll have to pick a lot of product. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. What's, what's next for you? The next one for me is Lost Boys, and these are my, this is the, what's the prompt here? Makes your face, oh yeah, not look dead. So <laughs> it's these Exuviance pads. Um, and you know, I, I said there were 15 in here. There are 13 in here, oh. which is cool for this product project. Yeah. Right? I, I didn't put it together in the intro, but there are 13 in here. Oh, how funny. And I, I've used one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought by now I'd have four done, but I've had one. So oh. this is going to be a while, but again, I love this. <clears> one, so are they uh, like, you can only use them as like once a week or something like that. Or well, can you I, use have them another, I have the exfoliate in here, so I'm having to balance these out. Mm. Usually I use those once a week. Okay. But All right. So that's a once a week product. It's yeah, not an everyday. It's not like the right. Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads that you would use every no. day. Okay. Got it. Supposedly you can use these twice a week, but I find that's too much for me. So I use it mm. about once a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And with the exfoliate, that takes forever. <laughs> I'm yes. still working on my, my full size. Okay, my next one is the Blair Witch Project, which is something black. So I brought in the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, the 24-7 eye pencil, whatever. And I, my goal is to finish this. So I will try to see if I, I did take a picture. I'll try to see if I can put like an image up here or something. I don't know if it'll fit in the screen, but I think I've used about half of this. So I am hopeful that I can finish this by the next update because there's just not a lot left in here and I, I am wearing it on my uh, upper inner rim and upper lash line today. Sometimes I wear a liquid lipstick on the upper lash line so I kind of alternate and this is super creamy so like a, I mean a little bit goes a long way. You know what like I, it's starting to move in there so I think I'm close. That's Yay. another empty next month. Maybe. Okay, so my next one is also Blair Rich Project. Mm. And this was my mascara, my big weapon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're giant. <laughs> this is that Butter London uh, <clears throat> Double Decker Mascara. Still going? It's still going, yeah. I mean, this is a three-month product for me, and it will be out in January. So, uh, you know, I yeah. use it every day. Yeah. It's fine. Unless it's it starts, fine. it's not waterproof, and it it shows. Like my wife, when my eyes water, the uh -huh. stuff just uh, gets everywhere. That kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say you froze there for a second. I was like, what happened? Yeah, so did you? And then you were like on fast forward. <laughs> then you went <laughs> like like uh what like a horror movie. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, Pennywise from It whenever he like does this little freak out. Yeah, that's what you did. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cry. Don't let me cry. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. My next prompt is the ring, an item you want to expose the ring on, the pan. And I brought in the Essence Mattifying Compact Powder in Light Beige. So it's this item here. And I am, I feel like I, well, you can see my little dip there. So I may be close on this. I think, you know, I use this to set my eyeshadow primer. And so I kind of been going in that one little spot over and over. And I use, I've been using, which brush have I been using? Like one from Morphe, like this style of brush. And yeah, this is the G2. So... Hopefully I'll have this again. Hopefully I'll have pan by next month, but we'll see. That's the project. That's the product that I am most curious to see you hit your goal on. Why is that? I don't know. When you when you brought it in the intro, I was like, oh, she's gonna do this. It's cool. So it's, <laughs> it's neat to see that big dip. 
yeah, it'll be exciting to finally hit pan on that. And you know, I, I'll probably continue to use it because I'm enjoying using it as a set. It's re a really nice uh, setting powder for primer, actually. I really do like it for that. We can finish it next year. Maybe. <gasps> okay, my next one is for Hellraiser. This is the <clears throat> facial exfoliant. Now, this is my Kate Somerville. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see that very well. But anyway, it's a mini of exfoliate. And I've only used it a couple of times, but this will be a while. Yeah, it's... yeah. They last a while. And you don't I... need very much of it. No, but I really like this product. I do, too. I, I mean, probably have another one. <clears throat> I, have so I think I have several little minis that I'm using that full size right now. I'm hoping I can get it done by the end of the year. But, yeah, you don't need very much of it. And for... And a, a, a chemical exfoliant that's got a little bit of like micro derm abrasion y things. I like mm -hmm. that. That's probably my favorite one. Yeah, I do like it. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy with what I've chosen for this project. I, I like all the products. Yeah, same here. So it's I, great. I think you're, I think you chose good stuff. And I, I'm happy with the items I chose too. You too. Okay, my next item, the prompt for this is Friday the 13th, a summer themed product. So I chose this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Pool Party. And my, this is what this one looks like. And I mix the three together. <laughs> and that is what this looks like. And this is, I'm wearing this today on my cheeks. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. So I've used this twice. <laughs> Today was my second use. A while to go on that one. Mm. You can get there. Mm -hmm. Now, are you done with your prompts? No, I have one more. Okay, you have one more. It's for poltergeist. It's for something that's always in your collection. So this is my bath gel. Oh, this right. is my snowflakes and cashmere. I just started this because um, I just finished one for my purple project. So ah, this okay. is just started. But these don't take me very long to get through, so. And this is beautiful. Doesn't it smell so good? Oh, my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's, what are the, so what are the scent notes on it? It says um, on the back. So it's cashmere cream, caramel wood. Mm. What is a caramel wood? I don't know, but it sounds yummy. And frosted clementine. Mm. So. It's so I good. Mean, I know that's like one of the few like winter scents that Bath and Body Works comes out with that I will buy in a shower gel. It's so good. Oh. It's so good. Oh, so good. Oh. Oh, anyway, that's where I am. Just, just started it, really. Okay, cool. So I think I have three that I need to review because I've got three that you've already, you rolled three out. So I have Hellraiser, which is a facial exfoliant. <laughs> and uh, for that, I brought in the Ol Hendrickson fat glow facial and my goal was to use this 10 times so far I've used it three so uh, about once a week a little bit less than that but I do love this product and I'm always seeing it on like FabFitFun or BoxyCharm for like less than ten dollars <laughs> so I have I now have several of these because I love it I think it was just on FabFitFun yeah Fun. it's so I mean I'm like okay I'll get I'll get that now, I do think that the, the TLC Sukari, what is it? Sukari yeah, Baby uh, Facial? Drunk Elephant. Drunk Elephant? Uh, yeah. I think that one's a little bit stronger than this, but I, I still like this a lot. I, I do enjoy it. And then I have Frankenstein, a Franken product. So I have my MAC Blush and Oh My Passion. This is actually the Pearlmate face powder, but I Frankened it into a blush. So I took out like all of the yellow powder that was in here and I just kept like the pink and the purple and I mixed it together and I think there was a little bit of brown in here too. So that is what that one looks like. And I think this turned out really pretty. It's, you, have three, you have three blushes in this. Product. I know. I, yeah. One's a cream, but then I have these two. Wow. 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 <clears throat> so yeah. But that one is really pretty. I've used this one only twice. So I'll probably focus on pool party and then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll I'm trying to think of how, I think I have 
two other blushes and projects, but I'm going to try to focus on at least one of them in the next month. We'll see if I can get it rolled out. I think that they're, they both have two uses. So we'll see. And then my last item is for the prompt, the exorcism of Emily Rose, an item that makes you levitate on cloud nine. And I have this lipstick from NARS. This is the sheer lipstick in damage. Oh. Right? Oh. So here is lipstick. I love this. Now, I don't have that much use on it. Again, this is another one of the situations where, oh my God, it's so pretty. <gasps> where I've been trying to finish Taurus. So anything else kind of gets pushed to the side, but I need to roll it in with my other purple lippies. I've got like three, four or five actually right now that I'm rotating through and Taurus always gets used on a daily basis. So we'll see. We'll see if I can make some decent use on that in the next month. But my goal is to use a quarter that, of it. I don't think that looks very like, I don't think it looks like anything in the bullet. But when you put it on, it's amazing. I, I think seeing it in the bullet, I'm not sure I would get it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it actually looks super gray-toned for a yeah. purple. And then you put it, I mean, it's still gray-toned. I mean, it's it, it's it still matches, I feel like, but it's because it's sheer. It's not a, you know, it's not a super pigmented product. It's a sheer product right. and it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so now we have items to roll in. Yay. And since you have more than me, I will let you go first. Okay, so I rolled three new prompts. The first one I rolled was Nightmare on Elm Street, mm -hmm. which I know a lot of people have really been struggling with this particular prompt. So this is a dupe mm. for an item that you dream about having. <laughs> so I too struggled with it, but instead of a specific item, I went for like something that I really love that I always dream about having, which is the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. I just mm -hmm. love those things. Mm -hmm. So I always dream about having them in my collection. And so I went on Temptalia and I found one that I don't have and she duped um, the color, the Laura Mercier color is seashell. Okay. And she picked it with this Lorac color. This is from the unzipped gold. And it's this color right here, which I already have pan in. Oh, okay. And the color is unlocked. That's the name of the color here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is just a real, it's just a shimmery. Got it. Okay. So the, the formula is not the same, but the shade is similar. Right. The, the Got shade it. Is okay. Okay. So I think I want to use half the shadow oh. in that pan. Because I already have pan in it. And it's mm -hmm. the Lorac, so it's pretty loose. I mean, like, um, not loose. What's the word I'm looking for? A powdery. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, powdery. I said it's not a super, like, packed loose shadow. Yeah. yeah. So I think I want to try to use half the pan. Okay. That is aggressive. We'll see yeah. if I can do it. But you, I, I'm I sure you can. I'd, I'd really like to, I'd like to do that. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Okay. My second one was for it, which is a product that scares the blank, blank, blank out of you to pan. And for me, that's <laughs> eyeliners. Um, because they move so slowly with me. I don't use, I don't do, um, uh, waterline or any of those other because I have yeah. um, serious eye issues. So the only place that eye liner goes is on my upper mm -hmm. lid, of mm -hmm. my lashes. So this is actually, maybe you don't know that Corez makes makeup. And this is a, oh. an eyeliner by Corez. Corez or Kosas? Corez. Corez. But isn't that who, isn't that who makes that quad, that blush thing? That's no, Kosas. That's, that's Kosas. Kosas. Oh my God, I'm getting my brands mixed up. Cora, this so is, they're, they're mostly a skincare line, right? Skincare, yeah. right. And I don't know where I got this. <laughs> but this is a, a, an eyeliner in the color brown, and it's really beautiful. It's just a, 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 a rich brown. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a dark brown. It's a nice it's a shade of brown. brown. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this 13 times, my usual use, 
keep you such goal on me. Hi. I know Ziggy just came by. He, Ziggy. he went behind. He went behind the where the lights are. He may lick the lights here in a minute. I know. I love it when he does that. So anyway, thirteen times for that guy. And my Very last cool. uh, new nude uh, uh, nude role <laughs> is for <laughs> is for Dracula. Dracula, a product that sucks the life out of you. So I took it like a product that sucks the life out of my pores, <laughs> and I put a clay mat, a small origin. This is clear improvement. This is a charcoal honey mask. Uh huh. And I'm going to use this up. It's a mini. Nice. <clears throat> uh, I've never used this, but I'm a huge fan of Origins and their body. And, I sorry, do. I, I'm the same. I love their skincare. I'm using so, their cleansing oil right now, and it's beautiful. Yeah. So this will be my second Origins product mm -hmm. in this project, mm -hmm. but I just love their stuff. So anyway, I'll finish that guy up. That will be for Dracula. Dracula. I suck your blood. <laughs> Oh my god. I saw I saw your blood. I saw your blood. Dracula. <laughs> oh my goodness. My eyes are watering. Okay, so those were your three. Those are my three. <laughs> okay, so my roll in, I used Tiny Decisions app and got Jaws, a water themed item. And that could be in the packaging, the name, etc. So I went with this Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream Moisturizer. And it's a little deluxe size sample. It's 20 mils at 0.6 ounces. So there's still plenty of product in here. I have tried this moisturizer before and loved it. I think it's a great nighttime moisturizer too. So my goal is going to be to finish it. I want to finish it. I love that moisturizer. I've used several of those and... It's oh my great. God. It's so good. I did not know how much I love this until I tried it in the sample and I was like, Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. So I don't have a, a nighttime moisturizer. I shouldn't say that I'm using a little mini right now that I normally would use during the day, but I this one's like, I think I can use this at night if I mix in an oil. So as soon as I'm done with that, I will roll this in. So I may have this done. I mean, it's still half an ounce. It's still quite a bit of product. So I may not have it by down by the next update, but we'll see. I hope this worked. I hope this worked too. Anyway, that is our update for today and for this month. And I'm super excited to be able to have Valerie join me and updating this project. Hopefully we can keep it going for the course of this project. I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Next time I'll let, I'll have my dog, one of my dogs in the picture. Oh yes. You You'll have to dogs. share your, your pups, your babies. Yeah. Midnight. Or Midnight Snooki. Midnight and Snooky. 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 Funniest names. I wanted to thank everyone that's oh. joined in. Oh yeah. There yeah. have been a lot of people who've jumped in and then even after the project started, more people yeah. joined and I just think it's great. I think Jaylon and I are so kind of overwhelmed by this and uh, I'm happy. We're happy that we've had such great response. So thank you all. Yeah, absolutely. And good luck. Yes. Everything. Yes. No, it has or, been so up. nice to see everyone's like videos. And I think we didn't even get to say this last time because we pre we pre-recorded so early, but, and of course we saw everybody's intro videos, but some people were super creative with <laughs> their intro. Oh my gosh, I loved watching the intro y'all's intros videos. They were great. The makeup they were really oh great gosh. and yeah, just a lot of fun to watch and just love the creativity and the yeah. support. It's good. And we didn't get to do a like we talked about doing our face makeup and doing something like scary, but I think that day we were running around um actually we had filmed two videos right which i still can't find the freaking sd card but we had filmed the intro we also filmed a haul video and we didn't want to have like halloween makeup for the haul video that i still can't find but that's the reason why we didn't like do our faces that day so anyway it is what it is Maybe but yes for the for the um end of the project we'll, oh we'll do yeah it. we'll have to do it for the end of the project for sure yeah. 
So anyway, well, I think that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. And you're rolling, right? You're going to roll one in? Yeah, look at this. Oh. What are you doing, Zigster? Ziggy, he's like, I want to... I want to devour that. He wants that. to, he tried to get in the box, like the lid box. Well, actually he did as I was putting it together and I was like, get out of the box. <laughs> I need to set up my advent calendars. I, just, I'll like, I want to see who's in that city. I want to see Yeah, and he's there. very intrigued as you can see. Well, now he's cleaning himself, but he's like, hmm. But he oh, also he liked can't. to sit over there. So I think he's like, why is that taking over my spot? Is he still there? He's still there. He's still oh. there. He matches your uh, bed frame. He does. And All right. lamp shades. He says bye. Yeah, he I does. Think... He matches. He matches everything. He's just perfection. He's perfection in a cat. Okay, well, that is our update. I'm looking over there, and that's not where. I'm supposed to be looking here. <laughs> we didn't say bye. We haven't yet. You ready? Oh, no. Bye. Bye. Oh, you can do it again. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Bye. Bye.